Oh, good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. Um, hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm here. I'm just hearing from spirit. I'm here. Okay. So someone is here. Someone has arrived or is about to arrive. Okay. It's, but it's like, I am here. Okay. I am here. Um, so some of you guys need to know that, that someone is here. Okay. Someone has arrived. Um, you are not alone. Okay. Someone is here. Okay. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Everyone. So, um, listen, um, something is about to happen. Okay. Um, and let me tell you why. Well, let me to explain to you. Let me tell you guys, um, I'm going to try to make it short. What has happened yesterday? You know, as if you guys have been watching me. For a while, you already know that I'm receiving, you know, um, messages via channeling and via signs from spirit. Okay, either nature or or signs in general. So what happened yesterday? Okay, I was I was um, I turned on YouTube and and I was scrolling and and you know um, for the last I would say two weeks, two or three weeks, I've been um, in my newsfeed. I've been I've been, you know um, I've been. I've been seeing a lot of videos, um, you know, on old cemeteries, you know, um, famous cemeteries, blah, blah, blah. And I, to be honest, I haven't um, been opening them. Okay. I have been passing them, you know, um, but yesterday, yesterday, and I don't know why I turned the video on. Okay. Um, but anyways, um, I turned it on. It was a video, um, on Per Lachis. Okay, cemetery, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. It's a famous cemetery in Paris, France. Okay, so I I turned the video on, and and um and anyhow um I turned it on. And I started watching. So you know the 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 video maker um the person who was doing the video for YouTube started you know showing various graves, um, mentioning a um, few people's names, you know, showing the catacombs and you know the tombs, blah blah blah. So. You I started watching, you know, and then, um, and then all of a sudden he said, um, you know, in a few meters, we're going to, we, I'm going to show you guys, um, um, a tomb of a very famous person. So I'm like, okay, you know, so, so I'm watching and, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the video maker said, oh, here's the tomb, you know, of Oscar Wilde. Okay. So I'm like, okay, you know, I heard the name. I heard the name in my life, maybe twice. Okay, so I'm like, okay, you know, so, so he started talking, you know, the, he showed the tomb, you know, that was, that is, um, surrounded, you know, in, um, in, in a clear glass, you know, the tomb is surrounded by clear glass and, you know, and, you know, so, so, so he showed the, you know, few people, you know, gathered there and then, you know, behind the tomb, you know, there was some engraving on the tomb and there was a door, a hidden door, you know, behind from, the, from the, from the other side, there was a door. So anyhow, so, um. So he was reading, you know, the engravings on, on, on the tomb. So I turned, I turned the video off, you know, and then, and then, um, something, you know, spirit told me to turn, um, Facebook on. And guess what? The first, the first posting that I'm seeing, okay, is a quote. By who? By Oscar Wilde. And I was like, holy, sh oh my gosh, like, holy, you know. So this is definitely a sign, okay? So um and and um the the quote um that I saw I posted it um this morning on on the community board of this channel, okay? So it literally like I mean you know it was literally the name Oscar Wilde was in my face, okay? So I'm like you know, so I turned into spirit, you know, wondering you know what's the message, okay? Who needs to hear the message? So to make a long story short, okay. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, okay, Oscar, what to, and, and this is not a video about Oscar Wilde at all. Okay. Um, I'm just going to mention something that, um, Oscar Wilde was married at one point and then later on in his life, he came out, you know, that he's a homosexual. Okay. So, yes. So, and I feel like, um, I need to mention this because what I'm about to say, I feel, um, I feel like it has to do, um, with something that's about to happen very soon. Okay. Now this can be, um, you, or this can be someone that's in your energy right now. Okay. Nevertheless, um, it's someone 
if it's somebody else, then this person, um, this story or, and this person will have a significant, will play a significant role in your life somehow, some way. Okay. So, um, now this reading, okay, this reading that I'm about to do is a reading what's, um, what you need to know, what's about to happen, um, in your life, um, in, within the next week or so, okay? So this is something, this is the current energy that I'm about to read for you, okay? Um, and let me go back to Oscar Wilde. I feel what's, what's about to happen, okay? The messages that I have been receiving from Spirit, okay? There's someone in your energy, or that's, that can be you, okay? Who's about to do something unconventional, okay? Who's about to do something that's not appropriate, okay? It's something that's taboo, something that a lot of people, majority of people will consider wrong, bad, inappropriate, okay? It's a something that, you know, it has been done behind closed doors, okay? Something that people don't want to talk about, okay? Um, so, yes, this is the main energy, okay? Um, as an example... Okay. I also feel, let me go back. Okay. I'm going to give you guys examples in a few seconds. What I feel, okay, um, is this person, okay, this can be your, this can be another person in your energy. I'm just going to refer for the ease of this reading as them. Okay. So this can be your, this can be another in individual. Just keep this in mind for this reading. Okay. So I feel like this person, okay, is about to come out, is about to do something that is right for them, okay? I feel like this person has been hiding this situation, what they're about to do for a very long time, okay? And I don't feel like this person has been themselves because it's like this, they have been hiding this situation, okay? So for some of you guys, um, you know, this can be you, this can be another human being um, connected to your energy that's about to come out and say, you know, that they are homosexual, okay? That's one example, okay? Um, but more than anything, I feel like this individual is about to do something, okay? Okay? Or it's it's like, what's the other, how can I explain it? This person, okay, is about to pursue, go after, okay? Something or someone that already belongs to another person. Okay. That's what I'm really, that's what I really want to say. Okay. So it's like this, the object of their affection, what they're about to do is already taken by someone else. Okay. That's why, that's why this whole situation is a taboo. That's why the situation is not um, is not conventional. Okay. So another example that I'm picking up on from spirit is like, this person is about to go after someone that is already married or in a relationship. Okay. I'm also picking up the energy of, of, of a robbery. Okay. So meaning this person is about to take an object, something that they have always wanted, something that they have been viewing or looking at for a very long time, but they didn't make their move up until now. So it's like they're about to take something, something valuable, an object that belongs already to another human being. Okay. That's the energy I'm picking up on. Or I'm also hearing from spirit, let's say, um, this can be your, another human being, another person in your energy. Okay. Um, who all their life knew that they had special gifts, special um, psychic abilities, um, but it's like for whatever reason, okay, let's say, you know, they have not came out into the public with this knowledge because maybe, you know, it's not appropriate in their culture, okay, or it's inappropriate in their religion to, to pursue this route because it's a sin. 
it can also be something like that or let's say you you know um in your culture in your religion it's not appropriate to visit a psychic or to you know to get a psychic reading and and you know and for a very long time you have been thinking about it and now you're gonna make a move and you know and go to you know to get a reading from a psychic because you feel like it's the right thing to do for you okay so it is the right thing for this individual to do it they feel like it's the right thing to do for themselves okay not for other people okay i feel like once the situation sees the light or is being brought into the light i feel a lot of people are going to be against it i'm going to be honest a lot of people will not like it um, if that's you coming out with this news or with this situation let me tell you uh, people will not like it okay so it's like and look at the candles like people are going to be it's like you're going to be alone in this situation okay i don't feel like you're gonna have any support um or any understanding people will not understand you why you have done certain thing okay and i have given you guys a few examples of what this situation can be okay so please take it how it applies to your life okay but this is the main energy in the collective okay i feel like you want to explore life okay you want to come out you want to explore life and it's like at the same time, you want to be free because I feel like up until now you have been stuck. If this is you, okay? I feel like up until now you may have been stuck out of fear, trapped out of fear or trapped out of obligation because it is the right thing to do. But, up, you know, it's like you have been feeling that it's not the right thing for you. You know, it may be right for for other people, but it's not the right thing for you, you know? It's like you have been doing this, you have been in this situation, you know, in your current situation because it's the right thing to do, but it's not actually something that you want to do anymore. It does not make you happy anymore. It's not something that you want to be in anymore, okay? You're about to break some sort of a tradition traditional something traditional is about to be broken okay and it's like you're gonna come out of fear you're not gonna be fearing anymore what other people are thinking what they're thinking about you or about the thing that you're about to do okay and i feel like i feel like you're being called to do what is right for you okay So there's an energy of exploration, of taking a new route, of doing what it is that that is right for you and for your soul's development, I'm hearing, okay? I feel like up until now you have been obliged to do something out of tradition because it's the right thing to do in your society or in your culture or in your religion. Please take it out, it resonates, but this is about to be broken. Okay, you're about to explore a new route, something that you're being called to do by spirit. Okay, so anyhow, um, this is um, a little introduction that I feel is very significant at this very moment. Okay, so everyone, um, let's dive even deeper to your personal story. Okay, what you need to do, what's going to happen um, in your life within the next week or so. Okay, I have three piles for you guys to choose from okay first pile is going to be this citrine okay um stone it's a brownish yellowish stone okay the second option is going to be this um rose quartz i believe okay it's like it's a pinkish stone okay and the final option okay i feel it i I'm pretty sure this is lapis lazuli, okay, stone. So this is your option number three, okay. So go with your gut, everyone, okay. Even though this is a pick a card reading, um, remember that um, this is still a general reading, okay. A lot of people will be watching this video, so um, 
So again, please take what resonates, okay? And go with your gut when choosing your pile, okay? Whatever you're most drawn to, that's the messages that you need to receive at this moment, okay? So without further ado, let's start with the first option. All right, so for those of you guys who have chosen um, option one or this citrine um, stone, this is going to be a reading. First message I'm receiving for spirit, you're still holding on to past wounds, okay? To some sort of a resentment for some of you, okay? There's still things that you need to release from your life because they're, they're having like some sort of a hold on to, hold on you in a negative way, okay? I feel like you have been bruised too many times and I feel like you're, keep, you're keeping to yourself, okay, most of the time. I don't feel like you're a very trusting individual, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel like you're a very trusting individual. Um, and I feel what's about to happen, okay, um, your decisions, okay, or the route that you take are going to be influenced a lot by your, by your past, by your negative past, what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing from spirit, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys will be clearing up your negative past in some sort of a way, okay? You're going to be, you're going to be concentrating um, on your past wounds, um, what has happened to you, why it has happened to you, okay, I feel like you might be going to, into meditative state, contemplating about your past, about the past wounds, who has, who have, someone that has hurt you, okay, you might be trying to release the negative, negativity, okay, you will try to release the negativity, I'm young from spirit, do not close yourself off, some of you guys, listen, some of you guys will be traveling. I'm seeing a plane, okay? Into another country. It's like you're going to be, you're going to be traveling. That's for someone, okay? And I feel you, I feel, I think you already know it, okay? So it shouldn't be a news, okay? But there's some sort of a trip that you're about to take. All right, so let's dive into the cards. What is your story? Wildflower. Ooh. I'm hearing from spirit, wild child. So you might be a wild, wild child. Okay, you might have been a wild child when you were a child. Okay. Um, I feel like, I feel like you're growing. Okay, I feel like you're ascending right now. Okay. I feel like you have not been appreciated by other people in your life in general, okay? It's like you, people have considered you to be this wild flower, okay? Not a garden flower, but a wild flower, okay? Somebody out of place, um, somebody that has um, made it through life in the wild, I'm hearing, okay? Somebody that has um, taken unconventional routes, I'm hearing, in life, I feel like you have you you have overcome a lot of obstacles. Okay, have been through a lot, and it's like the wild flowers know knows how to grow in the wild. Wild flower knows how to how to grow and thrive in unthriving circumstances. Okay, I feel that's 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 you. Okay. You may be encountering wildflowers, okay, in the next week or so, okay? Pay attention to wildflowers. You may be seeing them, maybe online, on the media. Um, I'm hearing for someone watching this, it's like a wildflowers, like your um, totem, okay? Or it's like your lucky symbol. You're about to encounter some sort of a wild flower. I'm also picking up from spirit something wild is about to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
something that you didn't consider is going to ha that's going to happen is actually happening okay and it's something wild there's some sort of a growth that's happening okay and it's like you're going to be seeing this flower grow and come or come into the 3d within the next week or so okay you're going to be seeing it okay you might be an indian okay see there's a feather on her on her head right so you might be an indian you might be connecting um with your ancestors in spirit that are, that are you know native um native um indians okay but see like she's looking at this wild flower okay you're going to be seeing something okay Something wild, something amazing. Something that has to do with growth. Something is about to grow. I'm hearing from Spirit, you are this wild flower. See, she has a wild flower on her dress. And the, it's exact same flower growing in the ground, right? So there's some sort of a wild flower that you have been nurturing and you're about to see it in the 3D. That's what I'm hearing. There's growth happening, okay? There's progression. Something is about to grow in the wild, I'm telling you, okay? Something that you're not seeing that you're about to see, okay? Let's see what else. Attachments, oh my goodness. Well, that's not a very pleasant energy to be in, okay? I feel, um, for a lot of you, I'm going to be honest, okay? I feel like you have been attached, okay, to something from your past. And that's the energy that I was getting with this stone. There's some negative attachments that you're still attached to, okay? Something that you have not been seeing, something that you have been ignoring, Okay? For some of you guys, it's like you have been ignoring a part of yourself, okay? But but it's like, I feel like within the next week or so, this mask is about to come off, okay? See, she, she's holding a mask, okay? A mask is about to come off. You're about to see things clearly, and it's going to be very wild for you. The fives talk about changes, okay? So there's a change coming to the situation, something that you're attached to. Okay, for some of you guys, it's, it's, um, you may feel like it's an attachment that there's nothing that you can do about it. Okay, it's like outer worldly attachment. For others of you guys, you may, it's actually an attachment that you have attached yourself to. Okay, please take it out, it resonates. Um, but there's a change coming to this dynamic that you're currently in. Okay. I feel this is something that's happening right now. There's something that you're attached to, okay? Something negative, something toxic, okay? From your past, I feel like it's it's been holding you for a very long time. But it hasn't been serving you, okay? This is something that you're, there's a mask that's about to come off. There's a truth that's coming out, okay? And the truth I'm hearing from spirit is wild, okay? You may feel like things have been stuck. It's like you have been not able to move. You haven't been moving in any way, shape or form. But you're about to discover something wild. What you're about to discover is this wild flower. That you are actually a wild flower, you know? That you are, you have actually been growing while in this attachment state, okay? Wow. First, I'm hearing for some of you, some of you guys are attached to some wild substances I'm hearing, okay? If that's you, and look at the candle, if that's you, you need to detach from it. It's not serving you, okay? <laughs> it's making your head spin, I'm hearing, but it's not, it's not taking you anywhere. It's actually keeping you stuck, okay? 
if that message applies to you and you and you know who you are okay i'm just saying you know better than that okay that's for someone here watching wow let's get your love message we have the divine feminine that's a beautiful energy to be in okay you might be a divine feminine you might be connecting to someone that's that's a divine feminine please take it how it resonates um with this card and the attachment the wildflower i feel like i feel like you have concerned your life being stuck you have concerned yourself to be not moving anywhere being stuck in a situation or a thought pattern okay but behind the scenes what has been happening with the wildflower i feel like you have been growing okay you may not realize it okay but you're about to the mask is coming off you're about to see the truth you have you have grown quite a bit okay see there are leaves here and flowers here and we see flowers here a lot of growth has happened in your life even though you may not feel okay that this growth has taken place with this attachment card being here okay within the next sev seven days or so you're about to realize something about yourself okay You're about to be enlightened. I feel for some of you guys, it's like your mask is coming off. You are deciding to be true to yourself. Okay. You're about to reveal your true divine feminine to the world. Okay. I feel like up until now, you have been wearing a mask. Okay. I'm going back to that Oscar Wilde message that I did um, a second ago. Okay. I feel like um, you're about to take your mask off. Okay. And you're about to reveal your true divine feminine to the world. Okay. That's what I feel is about to happen. Okay. You are detaching yourself from your old life that hasn't been serving you. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's dive even deeper. Okay. Yes, you're leaving your old life behind. We have the three of wands here. You might be deciding to move. Okay. Okay. But there's also something that you're waiting for. And I feel like your ship is arriving. Okay. Something that you have been waiting for. It's like you're leaving your past life behind. Or it's like you have left your past life behind. It's like you're in the energy of waiting. Okay. But it's like your boat is coming, I'm hearing. Okay. For some of you guys, I'm picking up the energy. It's like you have been waiting for something, for a situation to happen that's going to take your business to the next level, I'm hearing, or your project to the next level. It's like you're waiting for something to happen. And it's about to arrive, I'm hearing. It's arriving, okay? For the next uh, seven days or so. It's arriving. Something that you have been waiting for um, when it comes to, you, to, your, um, to your business, to your career, um, to your project okay it's coming i'm hearing okay yeah yeah you're not seeing it okay i'm going to be honest with you you are not seeing it for some of you guys some of you guys are concentrating on your past see how this how this guy how this man okay or child is looking at these three cups and he's not even looking at this cup that's a that's being offered to them okay it's like you're not seeing your ships coming you have been waiting for them but it's like you're not even seeing there's something that you need to pay attention to i'm hearing from spirit okay it's like you have been waiting for it but it's like you have been focusing not on the thing that you should be focusing on i'm hearing from spirit okay 
for some of you guys i'm picking up the energy that you're ash that what you're gonna do so it's like it's your, you're you're going to reject something because it's the right thing to do i'm hearing okay but the question is is the thing that is right for somebody is actually right for you that's the question because I don't feel that's the case, okay? Do, do not reject a golden opportunity, I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, some of you guys will be traveling. I'm telling you, there's something about travel. You are leaving your past behind, okay? Okay? You have the six of swords, a, a lifestyle, a situation that has not been serving you, okay? I feel like in the past you have been rejected in some sort of a way, I'm going to be honest, okay? And it's like you're leaving this past situation behind, okay? You're looking out into the future, some of you guys are traveling, moving, okay? It's like you're turning your back on your past. But it's like, see, all those swords are still in the boat. So it's like, yeah, it's like I've been picking up this energy. It's like you're holding on. You may still hold on to your past wounds. Why? You need to let that go. I understand that rejection is painful. But you know what? You need to be true to yourself. Okay? You need to do what is right for you. Okay? You need to do the thing that makes you feel whole. Okay. Because you're the one living your life. Okay. I mean, other people, you know, they don't care how you live, you know. They don't care how you feel. You know what I mean? I mean, you're the one living your life. And if your life is not making you happy, then you need to let that life go. Okay. But there's something about turning your back on the past, okay? That's the, that's the main energy that I'm picking up for you for this week. There's something that you're leaving. There's there's a situation that um, that you're leaving behind. And you're looking out into the future. You may feel rejected by other people, you know. But if this it is something that is right for you. That in your heart you feel is going to make you happy, then go after it. Okay, that's what I'm hearing from spirit. Do not be attached to a past situation because of obligation. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? Or because it's the right thing to do for other people. No, do whatever is going to make you happy. Okay, not other people. Okay? All right, everyone. So this was your reading. Um... Make a wise decision. That's what I'm hearing. Make a decision that is right for you. Okay. Step into your divine feminine. Okay. Detach from your from the past that is no longer serving you. Okay. But you're about to do something wild. I'm telling you. You're about to leave your past life behind and other people are going to be like, Wow. Is she crazy or is he, she crazy, you know? Wow. All right, everyone. So that was your reading. Um, now I'm going to move to the second pile. Okay. All right, everyone. So for those of you guys who have chosen the second crystal or the pink quartz, I feel like you're, you're going to be in your feelings. Okay in the next week or so okay 
um, you're going to be very emotional, okay? Um, and very happy, okay? Something is about to happen that's going to make you very happy. I'm hearing for some of you guys, some of you guys will be celebrating Valentine's Day with someone that you truly love, okay? Um, I'm picking up love energy, okay? Um, that's coming to you, okay? There's a lot of emotions, love energy. Um, I feel like you have someone in your energy um, who loves you. There's something that you're going to find out as well, okay? If you're single currently, um, expect to receive some sort of a message um, of affection from someone I'm hearing, okay? Love affection. Love confession I'm hearing, okay? It's like you're going to be in your feelings. You're going to be doing something that you love. That's also what I'm hearing, okay? I'm also hearing love for yourself. So it's like I feel you're also going to be taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, okay? And know that this is, again, even though this is a pick a card, this is still a general reading. So please take whatever message applies to you, okay? Because I'm hearing somebody saying, well, I don't have anybody, I have been single, blah, 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 you know. Um, yes, I understand, but please take whatever message that I'm giving to you, okay? Um, now, um, I'm seeing the letter S, okay? So your name may start with an S or the person that you're connecting with, okay? I'm also hearing passionate sex, okay? So you're about to experience some passionate sex for some from someone, okay? From someone that you love, okay? Because there's a lot of a lot of emotions, a lot of love that's coming from this rose quartz, okay? There's also some sort of a clarity that's going to come to you, pertaining to your emotions, okay? Um, what is this? I'm seeing the letter J. So there's joy, there's happiness, okay? Wow. Somebody is going to engrave, uh, engrave something for you. You're about to receive, some, for some of you, some sort of a present that has engravings on them. Maybe a necklace, a ring, you know, um, bracelet even. Then it's going to have some sort of a engravings, okay? Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Let's get your story. Duality. Oh my gosh. This is a very interesting card, okay? It's like the yin and the yang energy. The good and the bad. I'm being drawn to the word magnetism. There's something magnetic that's about to happen. For some of you guys, it's like you're going to come in together with your masculine and your feminine energy right all of us okay have masculine and feminine energy within them okay um i feel up until now um you may have been feeling out of alignment that's where i'm hearing from spirit okay but i feel it's like you're going to come together with your other half okay i feel like you may you may already be mir mirroring someone Okay, to be honest, you might be connecting to a twin flame, okay, for some of you. But there's something magnetic, okay, I feel you have, you're very drawn. If you already know who I'm talking about, I feel like you're, you, both of you guys are really drawn to each other with this magnetism word here, okay. Um, I feel like a transformation, a change, you see the butterfly here, has already happened or is about to happen. There's a change happening in your union, okay? I feel like I'm also seeing this as a telephone booth, believe it or not. I don't know why, but I feel like, and I'm seeing the bird. There's some sort of a communication that's coming, I'm telling you. I feel like you might be communicating with your um, ancestors, okay? Your angels, your ancestors. You might be receiving some sort of signs, okay? Especially at night. Okay. 
but there's a transformation, okay? I feel like I'm picking up on a twin flame connection, I'm going to be honest. Or soulmate. Because not everybody has a twin flame, right? Not everybody is in a twin flame dynamic, okay? But so I'm also hearing is like you're going to be acknowledging or accepting yourself wholly and completely. There's a part of yourself I feel like you have not been accepting for a very long time. But I feel within the next seven days, I feel like there's there's something, something is going to happen. Some change is going to happen that's going to make you to accept yourself for who you are. That's also what I'm hearing, okay? I feel there's something that you're about to see, okay? I'm seeing this feminine energy, okay, sitting there on a chair. By I'm being drawn to her headband. I feel like she's blindfolded, okay? Believe it or not. She's blindfolded. There's something that's still that you're not seeing. There's something um, that's unclear to you. But you're about to see. There's a change coming where you're about to see clearly. Now she's wearing the other feminine energy on the other chair. Um, she wears, she's wearing a headband. She does not have her eyes covered anymore. I feel like there's something is going to happen. Some change is going to happen. For some of you guys, this has to do with communication. Um, there's something that you're about to hear from someone. Okay. There's a communication coming in who's about to give you their hand, who's about to reach out to you, who's about to give you clarity. Who's got someone that's or a situation that's going to open your eyes. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Wow. Very interesting. And I'm not surprised that this card came out with the rose quartz. Rose quartz, you know, it's all about love. Okay. So let's see what else is happening. Whew, cornucopia. There's growth happening. And he said the 1111. Yes, some of you guys are connecting to your twin flame. There's a change. I see a butterfly. And we have a butterfly here. There's a change coming in your connection. Okay. It's like you're reaping the fruits of your labor. You're about to see the fruits of your labor. For some of you guys, something has happened in the fall. Okay. But there's clarity coming. Sun is shining. Somebody is about to give you some sort of a clarity. There's also wealth. There's also nourishment. There's also growth. You're about to eat fruits. Okay. You're about to indulge in something sweet. Okay. See, we have all these fruits here. You're about to indulge in a sweet fruit. Something that has been hidden all this time in a dense forest. You're about to see it. You're about to see something magical. Okay. Something that has been hidden from you up until now. Wow. For some of you guys, some of you guys are literally are about to receive some sort of a gift. And a gift of, a, of an abundance. You're about to re reap the fruits of your labor. Some of you guys are about to be blessed with money. Of, like some sort of a gift. That's in the, fo that's in the form of money. Wow. Let's get your love energy. What you oh my gosh. Listen. Listen. Am I a psychic or what? And I have not seen the cards. Okay. Honest to goodness, I cross my heart. I have not. I have picked these cards for you guys. Okay. That's what Spirit told me to do. Okay. To pick the, these cards to save on time. Okay. So there's something to do with timing. Okay. I'm hearing for you. Okay. Divine timing is at play. Okay, that's what I'm hearing from spirit. We have the yin and the yang card. That's a double confirmation. I'm telling you guys, you guys are connecting to your twin flame. There's a balance that's about to take place. Okay. Wow. 
We have the yin and yang. We have the 11 card. We have the duality. This is a this is screaming twin flame all day to me. Like seriously. Now, if if you're not interested in love, if you have no one, you know, if you are not on the twin flame, you know, um, if you are not in a twin flame connection, okay, um, in any way, shape, or form, okay, then this has to do, okay, this has to do with you accepting your whole self as you are, okay. I feel like your life has been out of balance up until now. And there's something that changes about to happen where you're going to be accepting yourself just the way you are. Both your good and the bad. Okay? Positive and negative. Okay? But there's a balance that's coming. Okay? Wow. Oh my gosh. You're about to see something clearly. There's a change coming. There's communication coming. Right? See the birds here. Right? The bird here, hand here. Oh my gosh. The black and white. The black and white. Oh my god. Something that has been hidden from you. Okay? Is about to be shown. Spirit is about to, sh to show you something. Are you about to see something? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I'm pretty astounded with with um how cards you know um confirm one another or how how the reading flows it's it's pretty phenomenal something pretty phenomenal is about to happen to you i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you let's dive in even further because it's the right time judgment okay you're about to rise up okay you might be dealing with a scorpio you might be this is a major arcana this is something that's meant to happen okay It's like spirit, spirit, angel is calling. Okay. Angel is blowing, blowing the trumpet. It's time to rise. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. It's time to rise from your sleep, from a dead end situation. It's time to rise. Okay. You're about to rise up. Okay. It's time for something to be resurrected for some of you. Okay. If you have been separated from your twin flame, from your person, you are about to be united. It's time. The angel is blowing its trumpet. Okay. You might be connecting with me and music. Music might be important to you. Or you might be, your person may be playing music. There's something about music. Okay. There's something about hearing the call as well. Okay. Huh. Somebody is willing to fight for this connection. Okay. For some of you, some of you guys may not want the past situation back. Okay, I'm going to be honest. But this is your twin flame. Okay. This is someone that you, you are meant to be with. Okay. Now, for some of you guys. Okay. It's like it's something. There's a calling. There's something that you are being called to do. Okay. There's something that you have agreed before coming to this earth. There's something that you have agreed to do. Or you have agreed to take a certain path I'm hearing from spirit. Okay. And I'm hearing from spirit. Now is the time. Okay. Now the angels are blowing their trumpet. Okay. Now's the time. But you might be in a very defensive position. You may not be hearing the call I'm hearing. Okay. You may not feel like it's the right thing to do. Okay, because of, because of the norm or whatever, please take it out, it resonates for you, okay? But there's something that you're being defensive about. It's like you're protecting yourself against this calling. Okay, wow. Listen, out of three cards, we have two major arcanas. This is something huge, okay? You might be dealing with a Leo or you might be a Leo, doesn't have to be the case. You're about to see things clearly, I'm telling you. We have the sun clear, sun talks about clarity, okay? And we have a sun race coming, you know, seeing on this, this card right here, okay? You're about to see things clearly, and we have a female, a female 
with her eyes open on this card. You're about to see things clearly. Angels are blowing their trumpet. You are, listen, you are being guided to your true path, okay? To your happiness, to your fulfillment. The sun talks about divine masculine energy. For some of you guys, like I said, you're coming into union with your divine masculine. And it's the time. Angels blowing his trumpet. It's time. And I feel like this person is going to be fighting for this connection. But I'm also picking up the energy that you might be very defensive for whatever reason. Maybe this person has done something in the past and it's like you don't want to hear from them. Okay, that's that can be a possibility. Okay, for someone watching here. But it's like this is your person. This is your twin flame. Okay. It's like you will never be separated from this person. Okay, period. You may have gone your separate ways to complete something or to heal from something, okay? But it's like it's time to come back together. For some of you, there's a child that's about to be born, okay? Out of this union, I'm going to be honest. You may like sunflowers, okay? But this is your happily ever after, okay, with the sun. Sun is the most happiest card in the whole deck. You're about to be happy, okay? You may not realize it. Something is, is about to be shown to you, okay? There's a clarity coming. So expect this clarity within the next seven days or so, okay? Do not fight it off. Because you know what? It's, it's meant to happen anyway. So what's the point? Okay? It's meant to happen anyways, I'm hearing. So what's the point of fighting this? Okay? This is your twin. This is a strong twin flame energy here. And my dog just confirmed that he barked. So, okay. But overall, this is going to be a very happy period. Okay. For some of you guys, some of you guys may be, um, you may, I'm hearing the word demand. Okay. So you may be getting a lot of demands from other people. Okay. So you might be, some of you guys may be, fall, f you know, fighting those demands off. Okay. Some of you guys, um, I'm hearing it's like other people will try to put their demands on you. Okay. It's like, help me with this. Do this for me, you know. So you will try to fight those people off. It's like you're gonna you're gonna be standing up for yourself. And I feel and I feel like I feel like you're gonna win. Okay. For some of you guys, some of you guys I'm hearing that you will be fighting for the right thing to do. Okay. And it's like your call, I'm hearing. You're going to try to resurrect something. You're going to try to fight for something, okay? For some sort of a happiness, I'm hearing, okay? For some sort of a clarity for some of you, okay? And it's your calling. It's something that you need to do because you have, in some sort of a way, shape, or form, agreed to do it, okay? Wow. Wow. All right, everyone, I'm going to end it here. Um, this was your reading. This is a very, 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 very powerful message, okay? Wow. I'm sending you guys peace, love, and abundance. All the best. And I'm going to move to our last pile, okay? All right, so for those of you guys who have chosen the last pile... Or the Lapis Lazuli. Okay. <laughs> right off the bat, I'm picking up a lot of psychic energy coming from you. Okay. You might be very intuitive. You might be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be the case. But I feel like you're very intuitive. Okay. Even though you may not realize, realize it for some of you. Okay. Spirit is asking you to trust your intuition. There's some sort of a mountain, some sort of a blockage that you might be currently be facing or about to face. Okay. So Spirit is asking you to trust your intuition. You can overcome it. Okay. There's also some sort of um, 
a communication that's going to help you with making or overcoming this this obstacle that you may be facing, okay? There's also something about water, about being on the water, living on the water, seeing the water. There's something about water that you need to pay attention to within the next seven days, okay? Um, because you're about to see something, okay? That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Wow. I feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys are really receiving a lot of intuitive downloads during your dream state, okay? Anyhow, let's let's see your story. Ooh, uncertainty. Wow. Well, there's something that you're going to be uncertain about. It's like you're either are uncertain right now or about to be uncertain about. There's something that you're worrying about. Whether or not to trust another individual. Okay. I feel like you're going to be presented with a situation. Okay. In the next seven days. It's like you're going to have no choice but to trust this individual. Okay. But it's like you're going to be worried whether to take the plunge with that individual. Because you may be worrying that this person may not be able to, to deliver to you what they have been promising. Okay. You'll be interacting with someone. Okay. Who I feel is going to be promising you a lot. Okay. It's going to be telling you a lot of things and spirit is asking you to trust your intuition if there's any doubt okay pertaining to a person or a situation trust your gut okay i'm hearing do not use your logical mind use your intuition okay because intuition intuition has the right answer for you okay you might be worrying that you will fall, okay? That you will make a mistake. Wow. For some of you guys, this uncertainty will come from two different... This like you will need to make a decision about two different things, okay? It has to do with some sort of a stability, I feel, okay? These two choices have something to do with stability. And it's like you're worried that you're you're fearing you are afraid of failure. I'm going, I'm going to be honest with you. You're afraid of failure. And I feel like another person is playing a major role in it. Or about to play a major role. Wow. For some of you guys, I'm getting picking up the energies like you going you you are going to be asked to do something or go somewhere with somebody and it's like you're not going to be certain. Okay. And I'm hearing again certainty. Use your intuition because you're very intuitive at this time. Okay. Let's see what else. Woo! Oh my gosh. Yes, listen, some of you guys, for some of you guys, um, you have a person in your energy, okay, who's very interested in you. We have the man holding a heart. I feel it's somebody that's going to be expressing their love for you, okay, may asking you out, wanting to get to know you. You may be 45 years of age or this person is, okay. Um, they might have blonde hair, to dark blonde hair, doesn't have to be the case, but there's something about the color brown, okay. You may like the color brown, this person. There's a lot of grounding energy. They might be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay? That's the energy I'm picking up on, okay? Um, so here's the story. Based on these two cards, I feel like you're about to be asked on a date. Someone is about to express their love for you. Okay? But it's like you might be uncertain whether this is the right thing to do. Okay? That's the, en that's, that's the energy from these two cards, okay? You might be uncertain as, you know, um, as of their motives, whether this person actually is, cares about you, okay? And based on these two cards, 
The answer is yes, okay? We have men holding a heart. This person, I feel, already has feelings for you, okay? This is someone who has already feelings for you, and I feel they are about to approach you, but you're maybe in the uncertain energy, you know? It's like, is this the right thing for me to do? Should I be seeing them? Should I be going out with them? There's doubt in you, and I feel this doubt is stemming from, from, a, from past experiences, okay? It's like you might be in the energy, okay, do I go out with them or I don't? Do I interact with them or I don't, you know? Okay, let's dive even deeper. Let's see what's happening. Abundance. Oh, this person may be very rich. I'm going to be honest. We have the abundance card. This, this relationship, this union has a lot of potential. Okay. I feel like you, both of you guys, by being in union, I feel like you guys are going to accomplish a lot. I'm picking up also the magician energy. This is someone who has manifested you. I'm going to be honest. This person may be very rich. They may have a lot of um, possessions, you know. They even literally may have gold or jewels, you know, stuck up somewhere in their safe, you know. But this person is genuinely interested in you. I feel, I feel like they love you. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of growth happening. This is something beautiful. Okay. I feel like you might be concentrating on your money. For some of you guys, I'm picking up that literally some of you guys are going to so, are going to come about some sort of an abundance this week. Wow. Some of you guys will literally be receiving some sort of a gift as well. You're about to be blessed with abundance. Wow. And you know, this uncertainty, it might come, you know, as you thinking it's too good to be true. I feel the uncertainty car has, has it's coming from you. It's like, it's too good, too good to be true of a situation, you know. Oh, this person is, you know, has approached me, you know, blam. They may be very abundant, very wealthy, you know, like, and you might be uncertain, like, oh, what's the catch? You know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. But it's like you feeling this situation to be too good to be true. That's what I'm really picking up on, okay? Wow. Let's dive even deeper. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there's somebody that has been watching you, okay? We have the Page of Swords. Listen, this person is already in love with you. I feel like this is a secret admirer. I'm going to be honest. This is giving me the secret admirer energy. Someone that has been watching you online, somebody that has been keeping tabs on you, has been studying you, has been researching you, who you are, what you're doing, that type of an energy. For some of you guys, some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be studying this week. You're going to be educating yourself in some sort of a way, shape or form. For some of you guys, I'm hearing it's like you're going to be educating yourself how to be more abundant. Okay, that's what I just heard from Spirit, okay? How to be more abundant, how to make more money, how to be more successful in life. Okay, that's what you're going to be concentrating on for some of you. Ooh. We have a water sign, Knight of Cups. This is this person. They're arriving with their cup of love. Okay. I'd be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person has a lot of love. This is like the Knight in Shining Armor. Okay. This person has been keeping quiet, watching you. And now they're coming, expressing their love for you. And you're going to be like, wow, <laughs> you know, who's this person? Oh my gosh. We have the Ten of Wands. Somebody is very burdened. Okay. Somebody, I feel like it's this person. They're very burdened as how you're going to react once they reach out. I feel like this person may be working a lot, may have a lot of responsibilities on their plate. Okay. But it's like they coming towards you anyways because... Because they love you, period. Okay? They love you. For others of you guys, I feel like you're going to be... It's like you have a lot, a, a lot of... You're going to be having a lot of things on your plate. Okay? 
I might be doing many things, um, working on many projects, many responsibilities, but I feel like you're going to be exhausted. And I feel like you're going to drop, drop these ones, like you're going to say enough. I'm going to do whatever makes me happy. What, you know, I want to be true to myself, not what other people may demand of me, you know. Wow. You might be uncertain, you know, whether or not to drop these ones, but I feel you're going to do it anyways, okay? That's what I feel. For some of you guys, this person feels that you are going to be a lot of work to convince that they actually love you, okay? You may tell this person, listen, I'm not interested. I have a lot of responsibilities on my plate, okay? Once they approach you. It's like, I'm not, I'm not sure, you know, I have a lot of things going on in my life. That's for some of you. Wow. Some of you guys, you some of you guys will feel like this is too good to be true that this person is crazy, you know. How can they love me if they don't even know me, you know? But this person has been watching you, okay? <laughs> the more they have been watching you, the more they have been falling in love. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right, everyone. I'm going to end it here. Very, very interesting reading. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I'm wishing you guys... I don't know why I'm laughing, okay? I feel like it's... I feel like this, this person is going to be like literally showering, showering you with affection, you know, and attention, but you're going to be like, mm -mm -mm. I'm not sure. Anyhow, I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and abundance. And abundance is coming. Okay. Health and wealth. And I'm going to talk to you guys very soon. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Bye.